With all the problems the snow continues to bring for mid-Missouri, it's easy to overlook the positives. KOMU8's Nick Shaberia tells us why we should welcome the wet stuff. Two St. Joseph men have been killed in a single vehicle accident in northwest Missouri late last night. Detectives in Florida are searching for the man who broke into a Fort Myers jewelry store by ramming a vehicle through the front door. Missouri's GED test will see some big changes in 2014. One of those changes is the price of the test will more than triple next year. The U.S. House of Representatives passed the Senate's version of the Violence Against Women Act on Thursday. Weekend mail in mid-Missouri will soon see a change after a big announcement today from the Postmaster General. A Columbia woman drove through a glass door at Arena Liquor today. We've already told you about the U.S. military lifting a ban on women in combat roles, but we wanted to hear your thoughts. The number of Americans abandoning religion is up and could show up in the polls. Click it or ticket and pump the brakes. Modot hits the gas on a pair of safety weeks. And a new noise ordinance could turn down the volume on Jefferson City musicians. KOMU 8 News starts now. KOMU reported earlier this week on a decades-old mistake that just recently hit one Columbia family hard. It's actually pink. Cool. How'd you know that? Oh, I just wanted it to be pink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll Women's buy into that. I'll buy that. <laughs> Dave, thank you very much.